Hi, this is Leah from Open Intro. In this video, we will see how to answer AND, OR, and conditional type probability questions using a two-way table. We will also see how to prove whether events are independent and whether they are mutually exclusive. A 2010 Pew Research poll asked 1,306 Americans, from what you've read and heard, is there solid evidence that the average temperature on Earth has been getting warmer over the past few decades or not? The results are summarized in this two-way table. Here you can see that the results are recorded as decimals, or relative frequencies. So we can see that 33% of the respondents were conservative Republicans. We can see that 60% overall believe that the Earth is warming. And then, for example, 11% here fell into both of these categories. Part A, are believing the Earth is warming and being a liberal Democrat mutually exclusive? When we think of mutually exclusive, we, mean, we think of it meaning as if you're one, you can't be the other. So here we have believing the Earth is warming and being a liberal Democrat. It's not the case that you can't be in both. So they're not mutually exclusive. To make this a little more mathematical, we can say that the probability of believing Earth is warming and being a liberal Democrat is 0.18, that's not equal to zero. Therefore, they're not mutually exclusive. Part B, what is the probability that a randomly chosen respondent believes the Earth is warming or is a liberal Democrat? Here, the important term is or. And so, we want to be in this group or this group here. These are non-overlapping, so we can add up these probabilities here. Be careful not to accidentally include the total. And that should give us the probability of being here or here. And so method one is we can add up all the non-overlapping applicable probabilities. So that's the 0.11 going down, plus the 0.06, plus the 0.25, plus the 0.18. Grab these two as well, and that gives us our probability of 0.62. Method two, we could use the P of A or B formula. And so we can say that it's P of A, add up all of this, that's the 0.6, plus P of B, add up all of this, that's the 0.2, but then, oops, we added the middle part twice here, and so we have to subtract it off once. We added the overlap an extra time, so we subtract it off once. That, of course, gives us the same answer of 0.62. So two equivalent methods. Part C, what is the probability that a randomly chosen respondent believes the Earth is warming given that he is a liberal Democrat? So the important uh, word here is given. We're looking for a conditional probability. Given that he's a liberal Democrat, what's the probability he believes the Earth is warming? So we can use this notation here. And remember, we're given that we're in this group here. So this is kind of our new universe. We're given we're here. We want the probability that we're here. So it's going to be this over this total here. So that's the 0.18 over the 0.2, which is 0.9. And just to note, uh, we have this formula here for conditional probability. And it tells us that P of A given B is equal to the joint probability P of A and B over the probability of B. And that's exactly what we did. We took the joint probability here, P of A and B, and then we put it over the P of B, which is the probability of liberal Democrat here. So reading the table, we basically applied this formula, whether or not we thought about it in those terms. D, what is the probability that a randomly chosen respondent believes the Earth is warming, given that he's a conservative Republican? So similar, uh, here we have this conditional probability, Earth warming given conservative Republicans. So now we're given, we're here, somewhere in here, and we want the probability that we're here. So that's going to be the 0.11 divided by the 0.33, which is about 33%. E, does it appear that whether or not a respondent believes the Earth is warming is independent of their party and ideology? Independent means that if you give us information about the one of them, it doesn't affect the probability of the other. So knowing information about B does not affect the probability of A. That's independent. 
So previously, we saw that the probability, believe the Earth is warming, given liberal Democrat, is 0.9, and the probability, believe Earth warming, given conservative Republican, is 0.33. So if you tell us which uh, party and ideology they are, it does change the probability that they believe the Earth is warming. So because of this, we can see that they are not independent. To go back to the original definition, we can also find the probability unconditionally that a respondent believes the Earth is warming. That's 0.6. And we can note that, these, that this is not equal to either of these, making them dependent. Part F, what is the probability that a randomly chosen respondent is moderate liberal Republican, given that he does not believe that the Earth is warming? So here, we have a conditional probability. We want the probability to be moderate liberal Republican, given not believe Earth is warming. So now we're given that we're somewhere in here, and we want to be moderate liberal Republican. So that's going to be the 0 0.06 divided by this 0.34. And that gives us 0.176. Uh, just to go a step further, we can just note that this does not equal the reverse conditional probability. It does not equal not believe Earth is warming given moderate liberal Republican. Because when we use this as our given, then our subset is a different size here. So we have a denominator of 0.13. The numerator is the same, but it's this denominator that's different. So we can see that these conditional probabilities are not equal to each other. That's it for this video. For more free resources, check us out at openintro.org.